Hey y'all, Toad here. Well, no, this isn't necessarily just a uh, messy behind the scenes look at some of the communications gear. This is actually kind of a test. Let me show you what I got here. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. This is a tiny little LED, about the size of a quarter. Hopefully you can see the prongs. <laughs> it's kind of dark, but you'll see why. I can see the prongs flashing right there. And uh, I picked these up, picked up 10 of them for a dollar a piece and then free shipping. You can see, I think there's 20 or 24 little LEDs in there. And this is just kind of a test. I wanted to see how bright one of them was. So what I did, uh, for those of you who've watched the videos before, you know that this is the uh, power source for the ham radio and then there's a two meter radio that usually sits right here and that's the jack to the two meter radio so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hook up the led to the power prongs of the uh of the two meter radio and then i'm going to shut out the light and i'm going to turn on the power supply which is 12 volt and that's what these LEDs are and we're just going to take a look and see how bright it is so let's turn the light off and yes the uh, speakers are still on so the only light you can see now is the there's a very small amount of ambient light in this room very small and of course you can see the uh, indicator light for my speakers but here goes that LED uh, I think that qualifies as bright, y'all. What do you think? <laughs> Try not to point it at the camera, but just to give you an idea. Uh, definitely, here, point it down at the desk. That is one. Definitely bright. No doubt about it. Try not to blind you too much, but, you know, there it is, shining full at the camera. And uh, the wiring gives me a little bit of limitation, but you can see that you know kind of compare that look now we'll shut it off and we'll turn the desk light back on and there's the desk light uh, the desk light is a two um, I guess about 16 inch fluorescent lights no doubt about that for a dollar. In fact, let me, uh, I'll be right back. Let me change the angle of the camera. Okay, we're back here on the desk, and there is the little LED that we just lit up. Um, for size comparison, there's a guitar pick. Let me see, I think I've got a coin over here, my jar. So you can tell how uh, how well planned out my videos are, right? And uh, there's a quarter. So as you can see, it's just just a hair bigger than the quarter. Now I was telling some friends about this, and one of the questions they asked is, "How warm does this get?" <laughs> well, let me tell you, it got plenty warm with that machine cranked up. Now, on the side of this machine, you are, you are able to adjust the, uh, the voltage output. So the question is, are, is this dimmable? So let me get some, uh, some tools and we'll check that out. Okay, now the Astron, like I said before, this power supply is dimmable, but it's not exactly... I shouldn't say dimmable. You can adjust the uh, the voltage, but you can only adjust the voltage in a very small range. This is obviously designed to protect uh, electronic gear. So let's turn it on with the. This is the lowest I can set it. So be prepared for a little little blinding action there. And now we're going to bring it up. Now, I suppose you can see that. I'm going to make the assumption. 
and we'll shut this back off. And that's definitely a little warm. So, uh, to answer the question, is it dimmable? Okay, um, I was able to read the meter, and you know, I think I, 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 could, I suppose I could look up the specs on it, but it looked like it had about a volt and a half, two volt uh, difference as far as um, the power difference within the sweep of the adjustment. But um, I, I guess you saw that. It definitely did change in intensity. So because that's the only test I can do, at least from, you know, the standpoint. Let me set this back here. At least from the standpoint of that narrow test, yeah, it, it changed in intensity. Uh, not a great deal. Will it go all the way down to dim? Um I don't have the equipment right now to do that, but uh, the purpose for the purposes of, of this video, these things used almost no amps to make them run, and these are going to be replacing the 1156 lighting bulbs in the in the uh, Airstream trailer. So I just wanted to see that test for a buck. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. I bought ten of them because each of the lights in the Airstream has ten. Um, 1156 bulbs in it, which you know they're they're basically the tail lights to a car, the single element tail lights. <laughs> so no doubt about it, for a buck a piece, off eBay with uh, shipping included, I'm digging it, digging it a lot. Looking forward to building the lights. Hey, thanks a lot for coming along for the ride. Fair winds, and we'll see you next time around.